Move over, McLaren F1. Step aside, Koenigsegg CCR. Nice try, Ultimate Aero TT, but Bugatti has you all beat. The new Veyron Supersport makes 1,200 horsepower, 1,106 pound-feet of torque, and just shattered the production land speed record. How fast? Try 268 miles per hour. To find out how it all went down, we talked to Pierre-Henri Raffinau, the pilot of the Veyron Supersport during its record-breaking run. Okay, so I'm here with Pierre-Henri Raffinau. He's Bugatti's official pilot and also the world record holder for the production car top speed record. Now, Pierre-Henri, tell me, what exactly did you do when you did the uh, top speed record? Uh, basically, we, we tried the car on the uh, overall, which is based in RLC, which is in Germany, where we're doing all the tests uh, for all the private car and the future car. And it's uh, an overall of 23 kilometer with a straight line of 8 kilometer. And for the world record, you have to achieve that in uh, both directions. So you have to do two attempts and they will take the average speed. And uh, how fast was the average speed? Uh, the average speed was uh, 431 km, which is around 268 miles per hour. So I had to do actually one run at 260 miles and one run which was very close to 270 miles. Holy moly. Uh, now what was it like at that speed? Uh, I think it's like you are in an area where you're discovering, I mean, uh, things. I mean, each kilometer it's making a new feeling, a new word, a new sensation. Uh, and even if we have been preparing that uh, to, to, to achieve that, because a car is made for speed, uh, it's always a discovery. And, uh, and you, you, you always like discovering like uh, one direction, the other direction. The tarmac is different from one direction to the other direction. Is when like you're shaving, one side is smooth, the other one is more rough and it's the same with tarmac and uh, and it's uh, I mean an old experience a lot of stress coming out of that things because you know that if something is going wrong you have a basic chance not to come back to the pits to tell your engineer what was wrong so I mean it's like uh, stressful but also super exciting can you can you uh, explain how you actually did it you uh, you told me before you start at uh, a certain speed coming down the banking can you explain from basically when you really really went after it Oh, I say, I mean, you have a procedure to try to, to make it uh, as efficient as possible and on this overall, uh, you starting and just trying to go as a uh, uh quick as possible to seven speed gear, uh, trying to use like 200 kilometers, 120 miles, and then you go through the banking with the same speed, just changing gears down up to force, and just basically helping the, uh, making the rev ga getting higher. And then when you are out of the banking, you just like uh, let the, the gears going up for fourth, fifth, six, seven, and you just uh, try to stay in the middle lane and, uh, and wait uh, to see the, the figures uh, stopping to to the counter. I see. So what was the what was the the feeling like when you when you knew you had it? Like when you did that uh, say uh, close to uh, uh, two hundred and seventy. We knew anyway that we were going to, to beat the world record because, I mean, uh, we beat it not by a small margin. So, I mean, the margin was massive, but uh, it was like a little bit unexpected the speed would reach it because it was over the target. The target uh, that uh, our engineer and our boss was uh, our targeting was 425 kilometer plus something and we achieve uh, 431 average. So, I mean, we were like uh, at the highest uh, average speed we could uh, reach. The weather was very good. There was no wind, good temperature. Everything was working well. Uh, and then uh, we knew we were going to beat it, but not at that, uh, that, that speed. But what is the 1,200 horsepower, $2.8 million super sport like to drive? we found out in the hills of southern Spain. Okay, so here we are. First time in the Bugatti Veyron Supersport. And I'm about to put the throttle all the way down for the first time. Are you ready? Let's go. driving 
getting the Bugatti Veyron, my first time. But not just any Veyron, I drove the all-new Supersport, which makes 1,200 horsepower and 1,500 newton meters of torque. Absolutely insane vehicle. Uh, certainly one of the craziest things I've ever done, uh, and it ranks very high up on the list of uh, all-time greatest vehicles in my book. But if I can break it down for you and tell you what it's like um, on a level that you might understand, you might actually get a chance to drive. In many ways, the vehicle is like the Nissan GTR. Now, I know what you're saying. Of course, the Asian guy is going to say this one-of-a-kind vehicle is like the $70,000 Japanese supercar. But it's true. I've driven Ferraris, I've driven Lamborghinis, I've driven all sorts of vehicles, but when I first got into this car, the vehicle that most came to mind, particularly low speed, is the GTR. Now why? Really, it has to do with the amount of noise that's in the cabin. There's quite a bit of gear noise from the seven speed Ricardo dual clutch. You hear it at every speed, no matter whether you're low speed or high speed, it's a constant whir in the background. It's actually a little bit quieter than GTR is that you don't hear the, the gears changing or, or meshing so much, but the sound is there. There's also quite a bit of tire noise too, especially over rough pavement. Again, it's not bad, but over a long period of time, it can be quite draining. The, your ears feel very full, and you, you, know, you have this constant uh, rumble, as you just heard, from the pavement. But in every other aspect, this car really is like no other. When you step on the uh, acceleration pedal, on the gas pedal, the thing just goes. It is absolutely phenomenal. Watch this. like this, you better save your money. 